David's mom is exhausted. She has been justifying and excusing David's never completed promises way too long. She repeatedly pardons David's hiccups and runs to rescue each time he stumps his toes. That is what the finest drug rehabs call relapses. They are merely hiccups and stump toes. No biggie. David's mom is beginning to go under, emotionally and health-wise. Even her job is now at risk due to leaving work to fix all of David's emergencies. The turmoil of supporting David, plus carrying his shackle of slavery to drugs, is like turbulent drowning water. In the midst of the waves, David's mom notices Jesus standing at the water off in the distance. She begins screaming out to the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. Give me more strength, Lord. David is sinking. He cannot take much more, Lord. Help up my arms so David will not go under. I can do this, Jesus. Strengthen me. And Jesus answers, Apart from me, David can do nothing. John 15, 5. Then a group of people in recovery from addiction, who are standing on the dry bank, begin to coach and advise David's mom. Let go and let God. Trust and rely on God. Just let David go. How many adults and children in your town or neighborhood literally walk on pins and needles because they live in fear? And that nudging fear is attributed to an addiction that has taken hold of one of their family members. It is a monster that claws and gnaws at one's peace of mind. Safety, finances, harmony, and health. In this illustrated book, we have exposed three parent and adult child examples that show each family's tragedies and triumphs in the battle of addiction. May you learn what God needs you to learn and see what God desires you to see. We have seen how David's mom is steadfastly determined to be her son's only solution available for recovery. There is another family I will introduce you to now. It is mom too and her daughter, Kelly. Let's see what their battlefield is like. Oh yes, the enemy in this dilemma is King Alcohol. It has Kelly hooked, and Kelly's poor mom is doing the best she can to cut the never-ending cables that are clinching onto her daughter. Let's take a look. This has been a peek at the illustrated book, Crying Hearts of the Loved Ones. You are invited to a complete showing of the video book and the follow-up workshop. Learn to help your community support loved ones of the addicted. Learn which methods of helping addicts and alcoholics actually backfire. Learn biblical teachings to stand in the gap. Learn how to build and keep the faith. The place, date, and time for the video book showing and workshop will be announced. Crying Hearts of the Loved Ones. Movie book and workshop now available.